Hi everyone, today we're going to show you a new function that is the dynamic end date. This is a necessity when we want to show a date range filter with end date that always point to the last date of the data set. And the Tableau has a new function in as a dynamic parameter and it allows us to set a dynamic end date. Let me show you how to do that. First, we need to create a max date of the data set. How to do that? That is, uh, we need to use uh, the, the level of details to do that since we are using uh, the superstore data set. So this is the max date of, of the entire data set. Actually, it is here already. Voila. And we need to design a dynamic end date. Dynamic end date, date. And set this to be date. And whatever current value, what is important is here. Value when open, workbook opens, we need to set to, that is, okay, you see, max date. Okay, it's already there. All right, okay. The max date uh, in this data set is December 30, 2019. Actually, we already uh, created the same dynamic end date. And then, okay, we don't need this anymore. And then we need to create a date range filter. Okay, that is order date between the start date and end date. So voila, here is the uh, a chart with a date range filter. And this end date will always point to the last date when we first open it. Let me give you a demo. Now, let's change this date to say we navigate it to the December 6th, and then let's publish it to the double public. And voila, you see that uh, its end date is the end date of the data set. However, you change this, okay, and say here we change it to 12 uh, December 10. Let's uh, refresh this. It goes to last day of the data set. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.